Hey guys, so I made a little uh, custom bearing puller for one of the guys at work and another co-worker had mentioned that he was having problems with his laser engraver getting uh, being able to engrave on stainless steel using the same method that I use. Uh, so I'm going to go through all the steps that I use so that anyone else that's trying to engrave using a diode laser on stainless steel uh, hopefully will have some success with it. I've had very good luck with this. It's relatively easy. Uh, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I did was I measured the uh, part here and it's about 270 thousandths thick and it's one inch diameter. So I want the text to wrap around about a about two inches that'll be a little bit more than halfway uh, so the first thing we want to do is draw out a little uh, box here we want the thickness of this box to be the thickness of the uh, part and we want the width to be about two inches and we're going to create that as black and we're going to turn the output off because I don't want the uh, engraving to be to have a box around it. I just want the text on it. If you wanted the box around your text, you turn the output on. I'm going to turn that off. Now let's go down here. Let's take uh, a text tool and just right here we'll put uh, bearing polar with a serial number of zero zero. 357. How's that? And we're going to turn it blue and we are going to fill that. Put that up there to make sure that's centered. I'm going to select the whole shebang there. I'm going to hit the uh, little centering tool and it, all, it automatically centered. But if you was off, if you tried typing your text in there and you, you wasn't completely lined up, if you select the whole box and everything in it, whenever you hit the uh, little uh, center icon up here, it'll center the whole thing for you. Okay, now the one thing that you've got to remember to do, you've got to select and you've got to rotate. Now, I'm going to hold the shift key down while I rotate this and it, it will rotate in uh, like blocks like you're seeing there. And then I'm going to rotate it exactly 180 or 90 degrees. So now that it's rotated, and you can see how small that looks on the on the work area. Okay, now now that you've got it rotated, we're going to come over here to uh, the rotary setup. I've got a Chuck style rotary. Uh, you've got to enable the rotary. And it now through trial and error, don't do. Don't, don't try this without at least doing a test burn first to make sure that all, all your settings are correct. Sometimes, depending on how you've got things set up, this mirror output to rotary will either need to be turned off or on. Through trial and error, I already know that I need to have mine turned on. Otherwise, it'll print backwards. If it looks like it's printing your text backwards, turn this on, and then it'll print the other way. It's the Y-axis that I've got the... Uh, rotary connected to this 160 millimeters per rotation I have another video on how to make sure that you have that set right for your uh, laser now this is on an atom stack and 160 millimeters per rotation is the uh, setting so it works so this X tool rotary works correctly on my atom stack laser engraver object diameter is one inch so we're going to select one inch and it automatically will tell you the circumference of that part. So obviously 3.141 is the circumference of a one inch part. Uh, once you've got all that done, hit OK. The only other thing that you want to do is come over here and make sure your settings are correct. Now, it's always a good idea to do a test burn and make sure that your uh, whatever settings you're using are going to be appropriate. Now on this particular atom stack, I'm going to use a speed of 1500 millimeter, millimeters per minute and 35% power. <clears throat> and 
I've got, if you look down here to the lower right, I've got uh, current position selected, which is the way I use my laser engraver, and I've got the job origin centered. So now that we've got all that set up, you can either cl click this Save G Code button here, or you can go up, come up here to File, Save G Code. Opens up the same dialog box. And you can see my other files that I've already got in there that I did on the original part. And we're going to call, call this uh, Bearing Puller Test. We're going to hit Save. And now I'm going to open up my Atom Stack interface here. I've got a shortcut on my desktop. I've got another video that uh, shows how to the settings you got to change in your Atom Stack, and a lot of other laser engravers, diode laser engravers, to, so that your laser will connect to your Wi-Fi as soon as you turn it on. And then all you got to do is uh, type in the IP address, which you can see up here for mine. It's 192.168.146 and I connect right up to my laser. So we're going to go ahead and upload this file to the laser. There's bearing puller test. File is now uploaded. Uh, and that's as far as the web interface, that's as far as I go. Now if everything was all set up out in the garage, I, would, I could go ahead and just hit start and it would start burning. But uh, we're not going to do that. We're going to go out in the garage. We're going to manually select it from the screen and uh, make sure everything's set up right and go from there okay so here's the laser got it turned on i got the rotary hooked up uh here's the uh little test piece we're doing now i can't chuck this up directly in there because the the chuck jaws here would hit the uh the point of the uh laser so what i'm going to do as I've machined down just a little uh, dowel rod, and I'm going to press this onto the. Let's see if we can get that done right here. Just like that. First thing we've got to do is go ahead and paint this with the uh, brilliance, and this is where the magic comes in right here. Let me get this painted. There it is painted. So I've got that pretty much in the center, but what we need to do is select the file. Just on the control pad here, we're going to hit carve. Go here to bearing polar test. I'm going to hit frame. And it's pretty close, but I'm going to go ahead and tweak it over just a little bit more. About right there looks better. Now, we're going to hit start. Let it go. This is stainless steel also. I'm not sure the grade when I bought that stainless steel bar. All I put was stainless on it. I didn't even put the grade, so I'm not sure what it is. Probably 304. But again, I'm not sure. Turn the noise off and see how we did.
Let's rinse it off. Pull this off. <sighs> On there permanently. Now I do have another video on showing how durable this stuff is. I say permanent. I mean, you're not going to be able to paint or anything else on this as good as this Brilliance does. This stuff, I'm not sure exactly how it works, but uh, as you can see, I can't scratch it off at all. So it's laser etched on there beautifully. Stainless steel, again, I'm not sure what grade it is, but it works, it works really good. You guys take care.